In ancient times, there was a territory ruled by a cruel king. The king had vast and unlimited power. He ruled very hard. He used all kinds of means of military force. He used violence to suppress his people. The king did not hesitate to use severe punishments, including torturing and executing death, to be able to take control and frighten his people so that they would obey and obedient. The king not only controlled the land, not only controlled his government and people, he also claimed that he was God. Anyone who did not recognize that he was God would be tortured and even killed. In this modern era, in this modern era, we may consider the incident just a delusion. But in fact, this story really happened. In the year 2100 BC, in the middle of the arid desert, amidst the growth of the city, the growing sand, body stood with a large tall tower. The tower was called the Tower of Babel. The tower was a symbol of splendor, a symbol of strength, and a symbol of power. The king was named King Nimrud. The tower was also a symbol of strength and strength that added up to the strength and power of God. This story will take us on a tense and twisty journey about the life of King. Namrud's from his heyday to his shameful fall and the death of Namrud's. Pathetic before continuing this story. Take the time to read. Shalawat to the Prophet Muhammad. Write your wishes and prayers in the comments. Column so that we can assure wishes and prayers together. May wishes and prayers be fulfilled soon. Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Rarely do people know that Namrud's is a descendant of the Prophet Noah alayhi salam. Namrud's is the son of Cain and grandson of the great grandson of Ham and descendant of Noah alayhi salam. Since birth, Namrud's is not entitled to be a king or ruler. He is a cunning and deceptive, but he is a hardworking person. He is an ambitious person. So no wonder his followers are increasing day by day and in the not too long time. Namrud's managed to become a ruler in mighty Babylonia. The kingdom of Namrud's extends to other major cities. The kingdom of Babylonia is legendary, located in the Mysu area of the ancient oil. City today mostly located in the country of Iraq carrying scorching sun and vast skies. The inhabitants of Babylon live in fear and admiration of their king. The king of Namrud's, their economy depends on agriculture and trade, while the livelihood of most of the population is agricultural trade and become craftsmen. But there are also among humans who live as slaves Namrud. They were forced to work mercilessly just to see and watch the results of their lousy traits being snatched away and used by merciless rulers. Namrud's was an arrogant and cruel king. Namrud's ruled his people with an iron fist. He was one of the kings on earth who claimed to be the ruler of all, the earth and its inhabitants. And Namrud's was the first to declare himself a god and put a crown on his head. He was also the first to learn the magic taught by the devil who was cursed by God. Namrud's built one of the seven wonders of the world, namely the Tower of Babylon, which is very magnificent. The Tower of Babylon is described as a beautiful and magnificent structure. Its height is estimated to reach 91 meters or more. It is based on archaeological reconstruction and ancient text texts. The base of the tower is estimated to be about 91 square meters, made of bricks baked and joined with asphalt. The tower has a spiral staircase that surrounds its exterior, allowing people to climb to the top of the tower from the top of the Tower of People, looking at the vast scenery around it. The walls of the tower are decorated with all kinds of ornaments and various kinds of statues depicting the glory and gods he worships. This building is of course very fantastic in its time built by thousands of slaves. Ancient sources mention this construction involves tens of thousands of people. The tower was built over several decades with various stages of reconstruction that took 20 to 30 years. The main purpose of the Tower of Babel is to become a symbol of power and a symbol of the grandeur of Namrud's as well as to show its ambition to reach the heavens and equal God. The Tower of Babel became a symbol of human, ambition to achieve unlimited power and glory. This tower is not only a symbol of its power, but also became the center of the famous Babylonia kingdom that became the capital of the country. Babylonia itself is one of the greatest civilizations in human history. Long before becoming a king, Namrud's lived in luxury and prosperity. His greatest dream is to become an absolute ruler over all the face of the earth and for the people in it. One day, when Namrud's was taking a shower surrounded by many beautiful female helpers, suddenly appeared a man dressed in black, who wore a long robe that covered his entire body. His appearance was so sudden that Namrud's was surprised to see him able to enter his place. The man said in a mocking tone to Namrud's, so you will watch over the earth and everything in it. So the man said with a very cynical smile, Namrud's was furious. 
He then ordered his guards to immediately kill the man and kill all his servants, who listened to the man's words. Namruds did not want to be underestimated by anyone. He also did not want anyone to hear that someone underestimated him. The Namrud's order was immediately carried out by the bodyguards. So the bodyguards killed the hunched man. After a while later, Namrud's entered his room. He was very surprised. He found the hunched man who had just been killed was already inside his room. Namrud's was very surprised and astonished who you were, Namrud's said. The man then replied, I am the king of light. If you want to be a great king, if you want to rule over all the lands and all their contents, you must see my true form. Hearing that Namrud's agreed, the hunched man then turned into his true figure, which was a big hairy man. The man turned out to be a devil. Then the devil ordered Namrud's to bow down to him. In return, the devil will give strength to Namrud's, Namrud's agreed. Namrud's became the first human to sell his soul to the devil for power and influence. The devil also taught Namrud's all kinds of witchcraft, how to bewitch people, how to become the greatest ruler. After mastering all the witchcraft taught by his teacher, but then killed his biological father to seize the throne and power, with the help of the devil, Namrud's became a strong and invincible king. He also became a very powerful witch. After becoming the king of Namrud's then conquered many lands, until he became the ruler of seven regions. One night, the palace stargazer saw a star that had just risen from the east. The star was getting brighter day by day. The longer it got brighter, then reported this to Namrud, who then called the sorcerers in Nugenia. They agreed that the star signified the birth of a baby who would challenge the power of Namrud's. The prophecy made Namrud's even more restless and frightened. Because he saw the threat to his power more real, Namrud's then ordered that all newborn baby boys should be killed. Azar, who was a loyal servant of Namrud, was also newly blessed with a son, Ibrahim. Azar, who could not bear to hand over his son to Namrud's, then hid Ibrahim in a cave. But Ibrahim was not alone. God, with his almighty power, sent down miracles to prevent his little servant from being killed. From Ibrahim's finger, Alihisalam gave out enough milk to meet his needs. Little Ibrahim sucked his own finger, getting the food he needed to survive. Day after day passed, and little Ibrahim grew strong and healthy in the protection of a miraculous god. Years later, when there was a very long period of kidnapping, the people asked for food help to Namruds. Ibrahim went with them. That I can also turn on and can turn off. Look at one alive and one dead Ibrahim and then say, then turn on the one you have killed Namrud speechless. He was unable to answer. Ibrahim then challenged him. My God published the sun from the east. Try to publish it from the west, but he was unable to do so and he was angry. He also forbade Ibrahim to take his food. Ibrahim then asked for a handful of sand from the city and he then returned to his home. The sand then turned into a delicious meal thanks to miracles from Allah. Ibrahim then began his mission, inviting his people to worship Allah and leave the worship of Namruds. But his people refused and still worship Namruds and idols. Ibrahim then destroyed all idols except the largest idols when the people saw their idols destroyed. They took Ibrahim to Namruds to be tried. Namruds with revenge ordering Ibrahim to be burned alive. The people then lit a big fire and threw Ibrahim into it. But by the will of God, the fire did not burn Ibrahim at all. This made Namruds even angrier and many people began to believe in God. Then Namruds asked the devil for help. The devil then told him that Ibrahim was a demon immune to fire. Already lost many times, the prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam invited Namruds. But Namruds still refused his invitation to worship. God, God then sent an army of mosquitoes then destroyed his army and left Namrud's alone. A mosquito entered Namrud's life and settled in his brain. It caused excruciating pain that could only subside. If his head was hit with a hammer or other hard objects, Namrud suffered pain for 400 years until he finally died in a pathetic state. It shows that the wealth of splendor, the army of strong armies and unlimited power that gave birth to arrogance and gave birth to tyranny in Namrud's is not something extraordinary before. God to destroy Namrud's and kill him, God simply sent an army of mosquitoes that are underestimated, turned out to make Namrud sick and died, miserably with death. Namrud's and the once mighty kingdom of Babylonia began to collapse slowly, especially since Namrud's did not have a successor to his power. The power that Namrud's was once proud of finally fell and split into a small kingdom kingdom that all competed with each other. Thus the end of the story of Namrud who abused his power and against the will of God.
God is the only King and Creator, and only to Him we must submit. May this story be a lesson for all of us, Allahu Akbar.